In the sixth episode of Masters of the Air, we follow Major John Bucky Egan, as he is taken prisoner in Germany during World War II, depicting the harsh treatment many Americans endured there. However, it turns out that Egan's account was falsified, and that the events depicted occurred a year later. Egan did parachute into German territory after escaping the Munster raid, but his account of being a prisoner of war was probably not as horrific as Masters of the Air made it out to be. Actually, not much information exists regarding Egan's visits to Stalag Luff III that does not imply, however, that his plot was entirely made up. During the episode, Egan crash lands in German territory after the failed Munster raid. Although he attempts to escape without a trace, a group of German children expose him, causing him to be caught by German forces. Egan, along with other American POWs, is escorted across the country to a POW camp. However, the trip is far from safe. Egan and the POWs are led through a German town that has been destroyed in the war. The citizens, clearly angry with America, begin attacking Egan and the other American soldiers. Fortunately, Egan plays dead, but the other soldiers are killed. Masters of the Air Episode 6 uses the real-life Russelsheim Massacre. This instance of German citizens killing American POWs is not fiction although it did not happen to Major John Egan. In August 1944, an American B-24 bomber was shot down over Germany. All nine members of the crew were able to land safely via parachute, but they were quickly taken into custody by the German Luftwaffe. As was protocol, the German soldiers began escorting the Americans to a POW camp. However, since the train lines were damaged by a previous airstrike, the Americans were forced to walk through the damaged town of Russelsheim. The residents of Russelsheim believed that the Americans strolling through town were the ones who destroyed it, since the town had suffered heavy damage from an airstrike the previous evening. As a result, a crowd started. The citizens used iron bars, sticks, and rocks to fight the Americans, much how it was portrayed in Masters of the Air. Nothing was done by the German soldiers to halt the attack. Ultimately, a German officer lined up and shot six of the eight Americans. Two others managed to get away, but they were apprehended and taken to a prisoner of war camp four days later. Masters of the Air's Russelsheim massacre change was important. It makes sense to include the Russelsheim massacre in Masters of the Air, even though Major John Egan was not there. Amidst the general bloodshed of World War II, stories like the horrific Russelsheim slaughter are sometimes forgotten. Narratives such as this demonstrate the profound impact the conflict had on all sides. In addition to killing a number of American POWs, a single airstrike had the potential to incite conflict among German civilians. Masters of the Air illuminated significant aspects of the ways in which mankind suffered during World War II by including Major Egan in this narrative.